Right, I'm gonna go in. Oh my god, it's so grim. Can I sneak in? It looks like I can. Second one of the day, go on. Oh my god. I didn't think we'd see this today. The SPL, Scotland's premier football division. Half of these teams are in and around the Glasgow area. So in today's video, we're gonna get to see half the league in a day. I've visited a few before, so I'll leave a link in the description below to those videos. Look at this typical Scottish day today. Time for the obligatory reminders. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, first up. The home of Hamilton Academical Football Club. Weirdly, the door's open. I just tried to go in, but I imagine that no one's gonna be able to give me a tour or anything like that. Obviously, I, don't, I honestly don't even think they do stadium tours. I just tried to see if there's anyone on reception, but this is the smallest stadium we're gonna see today. New Douglas Park or Foy's Stadium or the Core Physio Stadium. It does have a few names, so do let me know below what you call it. They've won the second tier of football three times, but haven't ever gone all the way in the top league of Scotland. They've not had the best start to the current season, which has obviously been played behind closed doors. They are just above their local rivals, Motherwell. Right, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna send I put my mask on. They are the Akis. Pretty cool pictures on the wall. Let's, uh, Gotta try and find the pitch, haven't we? Honestly, this is really weird. I've never just been able to get inside like this, but here we go. Oh. Locked. But look at that. Players are training. How have I managed this? I think they have a plastic pitch here as well. Cool. Great start for the day. Shall we go through this door? It is open. This is like an impromptu stadium tour. How have I managed to get in here? So a guy downstairs told me I could. So, just having a look around. Don't want to get lost, but... Loads of stuff on the walls from some of their best moments in history. Signed shirts. Quite a nice shirt, that one, look at that. To all the Hamilton fans out there, or even non-Hamilton fans, what do the three stars mean on the badge? So the groundsman, really nice guy, just said I can come in, and anyone can come and watch training. I was up there in that door there a minute ago, I'm pretty certain, but now I'm just here watching the players train. Bit of an open training session, closed kind of, but sort of open. And closed kind of, but sort of open. Bit of an open training session, closed kind of, but sort of open. Look, if you're a Hamilton fan, come down and watch them train, why not? Class. So, I've never actually been inside this stadium before, but it's really cool to come and get the chance to now. Come and watch the players train for a bit and uh, just see what it's like. Obviously quite small, 6,000 or whatever. No stand over there, just a small stand over there. And then two kind of bigger stands behind that goal. And then the one I'm just in now. But yeah, really cool place. Glad I came in here. Let's get off on the road and head down to their local rivals, Motherwell. Motherwell. It's blowing a bloody gale out here. <laughs> oh no. And you could see through this last time. I remember looking through there, but it's been closed off. Oh my god, the rain. I'm so sorry if you can't see me properly because of the camera. So yeah, Fur Park, Motherwell. Home to Motherwell FC and only about three miles away from Hamilton. This club have won the Scottish top tier, but it was back in the 1930s, but still something they're incredibly proud of, no doubt. A few Scottish Cups as well as numerous old Cups which have been disbanded now, which I'm sure means they have quite a good trophy cabinet here. They've won quite a lot, especially with the older ones, the Lanarkshire Cups. If anyone from the club is watching, do you want to let me in one day? I'm out here, outside, in the rain, and it's freezing cold, in the wind. Surely, surely there's someone there who's gonna let me come in one day and have a look at your trophies. Anyway, for now, I can't stay out here any longer. Let's get on to ground number three. Time to brave the elements again in a second. I'm sure you can, but can you tell what that stadium is before I reveal in three, two? 
of course, it's Celtic Park. Current holders of the SPL, Celtic have absolutely dominated football here in Scotland in recent years. Last time I was here, the club shop was shut. We're going to go and have a look at that in a sec. Obviously, an insanely famous stadium with an atmosphere to match. Some of the best players in Europe have said that this place has the best atmosphere they've ever witnessed. So pretty grim, as you can tell. It does look like the Superstore's open. It was a much, much nicer day last time I came. Um, but the Superstore wasn't open, so swing some roundabouts, here we are. I do just need to come over and tell you about this man very quickly. I missed him out last time and uh, someone said in the comments, how could you miss out Jinky Johnson? There he is, Jimmy Jinky Johnson, considered Celtic's best ever player. I spoke about the manager Jock Steen and brother Walfred, I believe was the club's founder. Club's founder here, Celtic Way, Emirates Arena, Celtic Superstore, Celtic Park. Look at that, it is a beautiful looking stadium, it really is. And I do need to get in there for a match, but let's uh, let's get in the club shop and see what it's like. Get out of this rain, oh my God. Let's have a look at these kits. The new away kit came out the other day. Pretty nice. Big fan of the Celtic kits. Sorry to all the Rangers fans, but I do think they have nice shirts. And here's some of the retros. Here's one from the European Cup final in Lisbon. Again, I did mention this in my Rangers and Celtic rivalry video. I have been to that stadium where Celtic won the European Cup. So again, I will leave that linked down below so you can check it out yourself. Pretty cool club shop, pretty big. Some sunnies, not that you'd need them today. Um, I wonder if they sell umbrellas. Yeah, pretty nice club shop. I'm sure it gets rammed on match days, but today's not too bad. I mean, there was quite a few people in there considering, you know, COVID and all that, but oh my God, it's so grim. We're halfway through. This was the third, the third stadium on the list. Parkhead, Celtic Park, the home of former European champions from 1967, current Scottish champions. And I absolutely love the design of the stadium, the newer massive stands with the red brick. Speaking of the red brick, do they remind you of anywhere? Yeah, so some similarities between Rangers and Celtic there with, you know, the red brick mixed with the modernness of the newer builds of the stadium, but looks like the storm is holding off a little bit. Rangers FC, obviously a team that have had to rebuild a lot over the past 10 years. Dodgy finances meant that Europe's most successful team in terms of league titles were relegated to the bottom tier of Scottish football. Some people will say this is now a completely different club, but I don't really want to get into all that. I'm just praying that Scottish football restarts soon for the fans and I can come and see games here at Rangers, as well as the other stadiums I'm visiting today. We've got two more after this, but yeah, gonna go and see if the club shop's open. It was shut last time I was here. Oh my God, it's so grim. Let's try and get inside. Come on, let's go. I know I was bigging up Celtic earlier, but look how nice that is. I like that away kit. Even the homes are really nice. I don't even want to go back outside, so I'm just gonna keep looking at all the Rangers merch. Club shop done while I walk to the solitude of my car. Um, I just want to get it off my chest that I find it so weird how no stadium tours are back open in Scotland yet. Like stadium tours are open down in England. I've done the Liverpool one. I've got Newcastle coming up soon, so watch out for that. But Scotland, for some reason, just won't restart their stadium tour. I've seen how it's done in Liverpool now. I'm gonna see how it's done in Newcastle with things such as, you know, social distancing, which they do, they do really well. There's hand sanitizer everywhere. Um, you got, well, I didn't have to wear a mask in the Liverpool one. That was pre the com like compulsory mask days. But um, yeah, I'm sure I'll have to wear one at Newcastle, but that's fine. Like I, I wouldn't mind wearing a mask if I get to do the tour. So yeah, I just think it's weird and uh, hopefully Scotland soon can uh, get them back on. I don't even know if you'll be able to see me. There's so much rain on the GoPro. Four stadiums down, two to go. Getting towards the end now. We've headed west out of Glasgow towards the airport. Sadly, I'm not taking a flight to somewhere sunny today, but we've come to the town of Paisley. Yep, there's an airport nearby, but it's also the home of 
St. Mirren Football Club. You can see the pitch through there. I wonder if you could get in. Right. We got in at Hamilton today, and I've got to make it my mission to get inside St. Mirren as well. Come on, we got to get in both. We've got to try it. There's an entrance over there that looks promising. Let's go have a look. But while I'm looking for a way in, I'll let you know about St. Mirren. They are known as the Buddies. As with pretty much every stadium that I've seen in Scotland, you can have your name engraved in a brick outside the stadium. St. Mirren is a totally new experience for me today. And it looks like a really nice place. It's in like this industrial area, but driving through Paisley just then, the town that it's in actually looks well nice. And even though this stadium isn't the biggest, I think it's only like 8,000, it actually looks really nice from the outside. What is this? The Dome of St. Mirren. What the hell is that? St. Mirren Sports Trust, the Air Dome. Is that what that is? I don't know. I guess it must be an Air Dome. St. Mirren, they've never won the league, but impressively they won back in 2013 so not even that long ago they won a trophy here in scotland leak up got all this parking which must make it really convenient on a match day considering there's only 8,000 capacity i'm sure they don't fill it out every game so yeah saint mirren same as motherwell let me know if there's anyone watching i'd love to come and have a look around your stadium is there anyone i can talk to yeah i got any games coming up let me know but yeah spl team saint mirren cool little stadium we are now coming round to where I think I might be able to get in. If you're watching this, remember to hit that like button. Remember to subscribe. Look what I'm doing today. I'm out in the rain, just searching for a glimpse of football. Just a pitch, I'm literally like an addict but for stadiums. All I want to do is just literally come and look inside and have a look about. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. And here we go. Oh, we've done it. Two stadiums in one day, I'm inside. I don't know how far I can go. I'm just going to come to the edge of the pitch, I reckon. It's got to be done, hasn't it? Oh, nice. That's class, look at that. There's some people over there. I don't know if they'll be raging if I'm here or not. There are some people over there, so... I'm not going to hang around for too long, but look. Inside the home of St. Mirren, about 8,000 can fit inside here. We've got one more stadium to go. I'm going to take a picture of this, stick it on my Instagram, so uh, yeah, make sure you follow me, Adventures. link in the description below. Um, I'm going to head back to the car after that, and then we are going to go to the final stadium of the day. Oh my god, I didn't think we'd see this today. It is blue skies, it is sun. You must think it's a different day, but no. Look at that, I wasn't expecting that. Sonny's are in the car, I'm going to have to get them out, but look, here we are. At the sixth club of the day, we are Killy, Kilmarnock FC, and there is their stadium, Rugby Park. So yeah, Rugby Park, another stadium I've never been to before. The home of Kilmarnock FC. It can hold 18,000 people, 10,000 more than their kind of local rivals, St Mirren. They won the league back in the 60s, and here's confirmation of that. Very proud of that moment, I'm sure here at the front of the stadium, Kilmarnock. There you go, inside the stadium. They have a plastic pitch. I quite like it, it's very cool. Obviously I like anywhere, I'm the only person that I know who would drive to six different stadiums on a mainly rainy day just to see them from the outside, but it's what I like to do, so. And if you like watching, hit that like button. You know what I mean, Kilmarnock football club that's half the league scene in the space of just a few hours obviously Kilmarnock isn't in Glasgow Paisley isn't really and there's a few that are dotted just kind of outside the city of Glasgow but it's all drivable from anywhere in on around Glasgow really yeah just to kind of show you guys how concentrated the top level of football here is in Scotland so many different teams all from this area and obviously I've just touched the surface there's so many more from other leagues the championship league one league two non-league as well um, but yeah obviously I was just showing you today the top league the premier division I hope you've enjoyed this one I certainly have I can't believe the Suns just come out 
yeah we've got another video coming soon probably the newcastle stadium tour next keep an eye out for that thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one